For our United Way Spotlight of the Week, I'm joined by Lynn Carlotto from the Leon Center and Kim Hockey, Senior Director of Community Impact for the United Way. Welcome, ladies. So the, between the two of you, you've come up with a really great idea for um, collecting, well, a lot of things. It isn't just a toy drive and not just a food drive. It's an everything drive. It's terrific. Um, Kim, can you tell me about that? Yeah, well, we're absolutely thrilled to be able to partner with Leon Center to, um, to hold this community donation drive. And you're right, um, there's great need for all kinds of things uh, throughout the winter season and approaching uh, the holiday time. So everything from non-perishable food items to socks and mitts and hats and toques, hygiene products, clothing, boots, um, more coats. We've just finished a really successful coat drive with over a thousand coats collected um, throughout the community. So, uh, but the need is great. And from what I've un I understand, it's even greater this year. Lynn, what will the Leon Center look like while this drive is going on? Well, as you would imagine, we have been pretty quiet here, but we do have our box office open. Uh, we are selling uh, downtown dollars and we're also selling uh, the pewter ornaments since we're not selling event tickets right now. So the box office is open from 11 to 2. We thought it was a really great uh, opportunity for us to connect with the United Way and make the building space available uh, for the donation. So folks will come to uh, the box office gate four and we've got plenty of room to take the donations from that box office alcove and bring them into the concourse. Unfortunately, fans aren't using that space right now, but we can certainly put it to good use in the meantime. It's a big space, so uh, it was a great idea to, to use this, uh, put it to use. As you say, there's not uh, so much going on these days. So, yeah. Um, now, do people have to come to the Leon Center to drop off? If I had a box of toys or something, would I have to come to the Leon Center, or is there someplace else I can drop them? This is specifically for uh, Leon Center drop-off. Uh, it really is going to be quite easy to do. We selected gate four because we do have that pull-up lane right across the street. Uh, and if it were full for some reason, you could just pull into the parking lot there for the two minutes it's going to take you to run across the street. So it is specifically to be dropped off here. And you have two weeks to do it. Oh, well, that's reasonable too that's lots of time now if um if it's something that is just too big and bulky for me uh would someone come and help me unload my car well we don't have staff really that are working okay. right now because of our, our we're closed and i'm sorry to say we've been closed since march so um we unfortunately don't have the ability to do that uh, but if you were to call ahead maybe we could try to figure it out because we certainly want to make sure that we get absolutely every donation we can. Or I bring a neighbor with me and help me, yeah, I mean, really figure it out. Yeah, I get it. Kim, something I've always wondered about with this kind of drive, let's say that I'm a working poor, I'm a single mom, a couple of kids, and I'm not really in the system as some people might be. How would I be able to get some of these things to make Christmas just a little nicer for me and the kids. Right. Well, you know, I mean, the beauty is, is that um, the organizations in our community, the social service agencies, they will serve anyone in need. So it isn't that you necessarily have to be signed up uh, as a client. So for example, um, as Lynn has described, <laughs> folks will come and they'll make their donations at the Leon Center. And we're really fortunate as well to have the support of uh, volunteers from Martha's Table and St. Vincent de Paul. They will come daily and they'll pick up all of the collected items and take it back to um, uh, Leon, uh, sorry, uh, Lionheart's, the Kingston Gospel Temple. And we've got volunteers who will be doing sorting. And then from there, we'll be able to distribute it back out to agencies like St. Vincent de Paul, like Martha's Table, all of the different organizations in the community um, that can then um, make it accessible to anyone who, who is looking for particular items. 
Okay, so uh, this would be a place where I could maybe get a snowsuit and maybe a few toys and, and a few things like this when uh, a little closer to Christmas after the drive. Um, how did the coat drive go? I, I interviewed some of you folks, uh, oh gosh, three, four weeks ago when it was just starting and they told me that the need this year is greater than ever and uh, particularly larger sizes and particularly very warm outdoor wear. So how did it go? It went phenomenal. Um, there were over a thousand coats collected throughout Kingston, Frontenac, Lennox and Addington area and again distributed out to um, local organizations, you know, even, even including um, in uh, Napanee area and in our uh, Frontenac County uh, locations and agencies. So the distribution um, has gone phenomenal and uh, it seems that pretty much anyone that um, our agencies have been, you know, known about having needing a coat. They've certainly received one, and there still are some that have been left in storage. So that if that need continues through the winter, which it will, that there'll be more coats as well. To good provide. news. That is such good news. So, uh, Lynn, um, we they're talking about a they're talking about a vaccine. It's on the horizon. Uh, yeah, really, I bet you're just chomping at the bit to get going again at the Leon Center. So what, uh, what are you putting in place so that you can get going quickly and so we can all start enjoying events there? We, believe it or not, have lots of events that are in our booking calendar right now. It's really a function of when we're going to get the go ahead. And all of the event operators, the, the promoters, have a various dates that they're holding. So if we're unable to open early in the spring, we push it back a little further. So once this situation resolves itself and vaccinations are uh, are are being uh, uh, delivered to folks, then we're gonna be ready to get up and going. And even more importantly, perhaps, is the fact that we've taken these last several months to put together something that we call our Venue Shield program, which is our COVID safety protocols. So everyone who comes here will know that there is a very precise program in place in terms of sanitizing, spacing, and every safety precaution needed so that people can come here and, and enjoy an event without being concerned. That is such good news because we, uh, the community sure has missed having the Leon Center uh, open and, and available. So just stay with you for a moment. Tell me the dates of the, uh, the drive for coats and boots and toys and food and, well, just anything that you want to donate. Uh, when are the dates again? It's going to be Monday through Friday, the weeks of December 7. Uh, and then the week of December 14. So Monday through Friday for both of those weeks from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Okay, so I'll encourage everybody to start cleaning out your closets and get some stuff down there. I, I hope it goes well for you. It sounds like it will. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Okay, Kim, bye now.